Uh, yeah, to answer your question, I think uh, Gamble is a very selfless person and just he does a great job just working hard all week. Um, like you said, a lot of people, um, you know, had a lot of catches and touchdowns and, you know, um, accolades as far as that goes this week. But um, and Gamble didn't get any catches, but I think he did a great job in the run game um, and uh, pass protection. You know, he did he had a great game. Um, although his name wasn't really in the media for catches and things like that, I think he had a very good game. All right, we'll go to uh, Nick Delatore. Hey, Kyle. Um, we were talking to Dan, and he says he, he wants his quarterbacks to know the why, not just necessarily know the play call, but, but know why they're calling it and why to attack. Um, when did that kind of click for you, just it, it, with this new system with Dan coming in a couple of years ago, why we're calling certain plays against this certain defense? And it seems like you have a lot of freedom to kind of kill plays or check protection, check out of plays. Um, well, I've always kind of had somewhat of a freedom. I, I would say the it probably increased this season as far as, you know, checking plays goes. Um, as far as the why goes behind plays, um, you know, I kind of, you know, when I came in last year, I kind of stepped into a role that, you know, I needed to fill big shoes and just know the play, you know, know my read and just get the ball into the right person's hands. Um, this year, you know, having that whole year of experience, you know, I can kind of, you know, I know exactly what the play is. And now I'm kind of, you know, I can tell what the coaches are thinking by the play call um, as far as, you know, where we want to go with the ball versus what defense and um, what to do as far as the why goes. And I think that's what coach is talking about. You think maybe last year you were kind of just like flying by the seat of your pants more, just, you know, kind of being thrown into the situation instead of having a whole year to prepare? Um, well, I, de I definitely felt prepared when I came in last year, but I just think, you know, with the more experience you get, you understand the why behind um, everything, behind what the coach is calling. Um, you know, a coach's play call to you, you can kind of tell what they're thinking um, in their minds whenever you're playing and what they want to do with the ball. And I just think the more experience you get, you know, I think I was very well prepared when I came into the game last year. But I just think, um, you know, why we're calling this, I mean, you just kind of gain that um, the more experience you get. And it kind of increased as the season went on last year. And I just feel a lot more confident about it this year, just having that whole season under my belt. Thanks, Kyle. All right, we'll go to Edgar. First off, sorry about that, Kyle. I was blabbing when you came on here. It's all good. <laughs> Not trying to be rude. Um, yeah, so how do you nitpick this performance the other day? You're always looking for ways to improve. I mean, what are you working on this week? You don't have, you had a couple pick sixes. I mean, you didn't do any, really didn't do anything this week except throw touchdown passes and complete passes. <laughs> um, well, obviously, you know, you want to strive for perfection. Um, you know, I just think, you know, we didn't have a lot of missed assignments on offense. I think we were very, we did a very good job at executing. Um, you know, there's always going to be those couple of plays that um, we should have done this or that. And I mean, we're going to get them cleaned up. Um, and like I said in the past, we want to score on every single drive. We didn't do that. Um, and we're going to get, you know, the things, the minor things that we messed up, cleaned up, and um, just continue to improve. Well, one thing I know you guys want to improve on is making taking a road trip. Um, the last one <laughs> turned out you know, shut the program down. I mean, how focused, I mean, has this been a big conversation piece? How focused are you guys on, you know, tightening up this time? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we weren't able to, you know, lay a finger on what it, what the exact thing was that, you know, kind of caused that outbreak last time we took a trip. But um, I think we're doing a great job, you know, as a team and, you know, the training staff and the coaching staff is just doing a great job. I mean, we're going to change up the plans a little bit as far as traveling goes. Um, and pregame and things like that. So just to try to prevent anything like that from happening again. Um, so I think, you know, we're being very proactive with the situation. Thank you, Cole. Buddy Martin. Hey, Kyle, uh, 
you look like you were doing more checking down. We talked to Coach Mullen about what you might be doing uh, and your your protections, et cetera, et cetera. Can you talk about the the finer points or nuances of quarterbacking? You seem to be grasping more each week or game, whatever, where you get into the mental part even more, the check downs, the audibles, et cetera. What's that all about and how comfortable are you doing that right now? Um, I'm very comfortable with it. You know, I think the coaches and, you know, Coach Johnson, Coach Mullen just do a great job of, you know, letting me know, like I said, the why of what, what we're doing and what we're up against. And we knew Arkansas, you know, they were going to either play a lot of zone or um, some man. And, you know, they ended up, um, those times that I checked the ball down were times that, you know, they were dropping everybody out and then they were just giving us the underneath um, check down and, and that all goes back to the why behind you do things and um, getting the ball into the uh, right person's hands. How many times do you check down from a pass play to a run play given the defense that you have with the soft three man line? Um, yeah, we did that a couple times. Um, yeah, if they're all giving us a pre snap look, if everybody walked out, um, you know, I think we um, felt like we could do a great job. Um, running the ball with those small amount of numbers in the box per se on defense so you know i think we did a great job of just communicating that and executing no you talked about this the offensive line gives you a clean pocket most of the time now it seems like more often and you were able to run the ball which some people didn't think you could do will you talk about why and what's going on with the offensive line well i think our offensive line is doing a great job of just um you know, communicating and everything's really clicking for them right now because, um, you know, they're a very tight knit group and they do a great job of talking to each other and giving each other feedback throughout the game and also giving me feedback of, you know, what the D line's looking and what kind of checks I can make to, you know, slide the protection correctly. Um, and I just think, you know, it all comes down to um, execution, like I've said. And if we do a great job of that, then um, we should be able to, you know, run the ball and, you know, pass protect very well. Thank you. I'm going to go to Zach Goodall. Hey, Kyle. Uh, keeping it with the offensive line, specifically Stone Foresight. Last year was a little bit up and down from the start, but ever since late into the year and then throughout this year, he's been really a force for you guys, giving up very little pressure. What kind of growth have you seen for him within his final year? Yeah, I mean, I think um, Stone has done a very good job this year, and you know, um, you know, hasn't gotten a whole a lot of credit for the way he's playing this season, and I think he really should because, um, you know, he's pretty much been um, locking it down um, there on the left side this whole season. You know, he's got a lot of games under his belt. And, you know, he's understanding the why behind what we're doing things, too. Now, you know, he's an older guy, too, so um, he knows why we're running certain plays or calling certain protections. And um, not only him, but I think a lot of other guys in our line have, you know, that experience and have been doing a great job. All right, go to Edgar. Yeah, Kyle, what's the mentality to keep the you know, the foot on the gas, uh, full throttle against a winless football team. I mean, how do you guys, Dan talked about this, that in the past he's come up against these situations and it doesn't always go well because the team isn't sharp. What What's the mentality you guys got to have? Well, we just got to treat it like any other week. You know, we came off the huge Georgia win um, and, you know, a lot of people didn't really um, like us against Arkansas. Some people even said it was a trap game, but, you know, we did a great job of, you know, ignoring all the outside noise and focusing on our job and what we can do and just practicing to our full potential um, every single day. And I just think we have to do a great job of continuing to do that this week, um, you know, and we don't want to, you know, we're not playing to win every game. We're playing to play to our full potential every game which obviously hopefully includes winning. Thanks, Kyle. All right, anybody else for Kyle? All right, 
Thank you, Kyle. Oh, okay. We'll but, close with Cassidy. Yeah. Kyle, um, Mullen was talking about if he has to on Saturday, he'll put on a cheerleading uniform to get to a pumped up for playing a, 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 I think, a winless team. How do you stay, I guess, motivated, and what do you see from him that still needs to be careful, if that makes sense? Well, um, yeah, we last year we kind of got off to a slow start against them. Um, you know, this year we're – we're going to be looking to obviously get to a faster start than last year. And, you know, they're not going to have many fans, but, you know, this whole entire season, you know, we haven't really been used to having a lot of fans anyways. So, you know, we've been having to create our own energy for every single game. And, you know, it's just going to be another week of, you know, creating our juice from the inside out. Thank you. We're just motivated to not have to see coach in a cheerleading outfit. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kyle. All right. Thank you.